Hello, run and welcome back once again to Panzer Core 2. We're playing the Grand Campaign or Axis Operations, as they call it now, in the Spanish Civil War. So, I forgot one feature about Iron Man mode, and the thing is that I thought that. Uh, it would save automatically at the start of the deployment phase of the next mission, but then it kind of didn't. Uh, so that means I get to correct, I guess, one of my mistakes. Uh, which was thinking that this unit was safe, but because I thought that they wouldn't be able to get in there. But of course the enemy recon units do use phased movement now. Uh, so I actually get to move these out. But... Yeah, then I, I do want to put this recon in here for now. All right. So now things are a bit different. Although this one will still get smacked. So we uh, we still get some punishment, I guess. But uh, yeah, that, that's definitely something to keep in mind. All right, we already did see these briefings, and uh, we did get both of the objectives, so we do have two points. There you go. So I will not make the mistake again, both to not save it and uh, the other one that the enemy can use Facebook with. Right, right. Uh, here we go, second mission, which is Antiquera, and it's 13th of August, 1936. Heads up, mine general. Capitana Vega is following right behind me, and she looks like she means business today. German mercenaries, I have an urgent order from General Franco for your immediate attention. Our forces stand ready, Capitana Vega. What are the orders from General Franco? As you experienced yourselves, the Republican Navy has been choking Franco's efforts to move men and equipment from the Army of Africa into Spain. He requires that you deal with this problem once and for all. We have learned that the battleship Jamie I and her escorts have made port at nearby, nearby Malaga, and this should put them within the striking range of your aircraft. Pardon me, Capitana, but... <clears throat> We've been over this. Our biplanes can't carry a sufficient bomb load to scratch the paint of a battleship, much less destroy it. I, w <clears throat> wow. I wasn't finished, Lieutenant. We also have identified a major Republican weapon depot here at Antiquera. If we can occupy the depot, you should have all the materials you need to refit some of your transport aircraft into bombers. I do remember some plans to convert Junkers 52s into a bomber as long as this depot is as well stocked as you say. We should be able to retrofit something that would work. Primary objective control two victory hexes. Bonus objective capture and then defend all victory hexes. And the last bonus objective is to sink the battleship Jamie the First. Unfortunately for us, the hills around Antikera are swarming with Republican militia forces. We have to clear them out before we reach the depot. Mine General, the mountainous terrain of the region will severely restrict the movement of our vehicles. I agree with the Capitana. We must attack directly. But look here. If we cut across the relatively flat terrain... I think we can encircle their defensive positions. While we attack enemy supporting units, our Spanish infantry can clear them out from the hills too dangerous for our vehicles to fight in. Yes, but I would request your artillery support to cover our advance. Dislodging the militia from the hills will be difficult, and we will need your help to get the job done without spilling too much of our blood. Sounds like a plan, mine general. Very well, German mercenaries. I will relay your plans to Franco myself. Capitana, I must protest. We are not German mercenaries. We are your allies. My apologies. I meant no disrespect, but would you prefer? Our official designation is Kampfgruppe 88. 
Kampfgruppe. Uh, it's a bit of a mouthful for me. Well, rumor has it Minister Goering has nicknamed us the Condor Legion. Condor Legion, I like that. Very well. We'll relay the Condor Legion's plan to Franco immediately. I think I'm starting to like her after all, Mind General. Exactly, they're gonna start a romance. I already know it. <laughs> now then, to victory for Germany. Alright. Our Italian colleagues have committed to Corpo Truppe Voluntari to participate in the Spanish conflict. You can purchase and deploy them as temporary auxiliary units to any battle. When attacking, pins enemy unit in place by destroying all its movement points. Alright. Well, let's repair our units first. No need to repair the beautiful bombers. Mm. Can't actually upgrade them. Actually, let's check what's new. Italian units, for sure. Then, Italian tanks, they seem to be poorer than the Panzer 1A. I could also use these with an Italian sprite, that's pretty funny. Italian recon. Anything is better than the German 221, uh, that's for sure. Looks like the Italian... Anti-tank gun is better. Italian artillery. Of which the 105mm just has a bit lower heart attack is the best. This SM-69 actually has pretty decent naval attack. Not like these guys. But then again, I think this might be specifically designed to be a naval bomber. Right, let's just uh, repair our units first. So the fighters, I think I definitely want to give them elites. It's cheap enough. So they get to retain their experience. These, I'll just go for regular replacements. But I think these will go for elites. Then the anti tanks. They'll probably find it pretty tough to get experience on anti-tanks. Uh, I'd like to give them elites as well. Mm, the recons... Yeah, I'm fine. I do have plenty more prestige than I used to have, so... That's why I just go for elites everywhere. Mm, let's see if I get to do some upgrades. So, first of all, I can upgrade these. I could... But I don't think I will, because these guys have rapid fire. And even though these have double air attack. Well, this is 1.5, and double the air attack might still mean double the damage. I think it's worth checking this out. So these guys, they're probably a bit better. They have less initiative. I don't really care. Although they do have only one movement. I do like my two movement. Never mind then. Anti tank can't be upgraded. And these also cannot be upgraded. How about my planes? Nope. I also couldn't upgrade the bomber, so let's. Let's take a look where I'm going to deploy them. There's only one airfield.
Alright. Let's get some Italian auxiliaries. We already have the L3 here and a CTV infantry. It might be useful to get infantry for the Italians as well. I don't want to spend too much because they're auxiliaries. Eight out of ten, huh? I guess these have eight naval attack. But I don't want to commit another bomber. So that's just getting L35. That's fine. Uh, this is not particularly all open terrain. But. Let's give these guys some artillery support. I don't know whether they will attack by themselves, really. Mm, that's, I guess, the tough part about uh, playing this blind as well, so... I'm not 100% sure how to approach everything at that point. I don't even know whether we might be able to take Malaga, for example. And getting some of these cities might actually be nice. Uh, Alright. There we are. So let's go. All right. Um, I think I can still assign heroes. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's fine. So uh, the weather is not too great. Hmm. That's, so the idea is that we are going to encircle them. We'll see whether that's possible with these units like uh, doing things. Okay, so out here we can actually tell them to attack or defend or anything else. Okay, so. Spanish nationalist units will attack the nearest hostile victory hex. Okay, because if I want to cut this off, I kind of need them to attack and cut them off from this side, I think. Yeah, okay. That's this. Sure. Not too sure how that will ultimately turn out, but... Uh, 
Alright, they will definitely retreat. You have movement 5 as well. One one, huh? They have another flame tank over here as well. Still. So we took that over. And the idea of going into that general direction was a pretty decent one, I think, but... A one one attack is not necessarily what I'm looking for. Hmm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely not bombing that. Just kind of means I cannot use my bombers this turn. I don't think they can see all the way there. We'll probably rebase this, especially out of fear. I would assume so. At least that, that's what I would do, because if I take this, then the plane will get rebased anyway. I'm not really sure where they would go, but they have plenty of air bases. Yeah, and I can't use these down here either because of the anti-aircraft. Okay. Well, these first attacks are pretty decent. Not this... Okay, that's good. They're not so stupid as to attack into artillery. I'm happy about that, at least. Sweet. Okay. Please attack the anti-aircraft gun. Hmm. 
Excellent. That's not bad. They're actually remarkably capable here. Huh. I did not expect them to be so successful. Wow. I got a hand it to them. It was really good. Huh. Okay. Their militia is no match if they attack me, although that went pretty poorly. But still. Hmm. Well, like I said, that went surprisingly well. Huh. Yeah, got to hand it to them. That was really good. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll attack that thing. They do have another anti-aircraft there, but I would like to shoot down that plane. Dealing with the fighters probably most important, but we'll see. The air attack of these planes is so low that it's hard to uh, effectively deal with everything. So if they went from here to here, they will have to rebase. That means I can actually bomb this without trouble. And I failed. Okay. Well, I do actually want to take it for myself. So I do rather need them to retreat here. Can't allow the uh, Spanish to take it. I don't know whether I would get prestige if the Spanish take it, but I'm not gonna take any chances. Okay. Hmm. This thing is. So a bit problematic. Can we stop taking damage from this thing, please? Nope. High, hard, and soft attack. An even better initiative. Okay, so taking damage on the infantry is probably... ...least problematic in terms of prestige. Alright, nice. Let's take the airfield, see if we get prestige for it. We do. I cannot actually encircle them. Mm. But I think...
I already get to move through quite nicely here. So that's not bad. One question that I do have to ask myself is whether I actually want to have the nationalist forces attack or defend. On this turn. I think if they do well they could technically break through here and given my lack of infantry I kind of need them to take Antikara as well. So I can't have them take too much damage. Hmm. No, let's just keep attacking. Why not? Let's take a look. They do have mixed brigade and the anti-aircraft in there. So it would be tough to take that either way. Okay, they are going for this thing. It's a shame it didn't retreat. Don't know why they didn't attack. Okay, well, that already helps some. Mm. Okay. On the counteroffensive, these guys are really powerful. For whatever reason, I'm actually interested to see how that works. Like a 7-0 of the... Oh, no, it's the Colonial Infantry that attacked the Militia. Right, now I get it. Because I was really confused as to why my f these Colonial Forces would actually take damage, 7 damage from Militia, but it was the other way around. I got a bit confused there. It's like, huh? Makes no sense. But now it does. Alright, let's go here. Deal with the enemy air forces. So they'll be able to break through here then soon. The weather is again not amazing. But uh, BT-5 is quite dangerous. And because of these, I cannot encircle it. Hmm. Yeah, I do have the anti-tank gun. I do think it's interesting that they have militia coming from there.
This is actually not bad damage. And... They can still move back, so... Okay, good. Still doesn't allow me to move through. But would like to force march these guys as much forward as possible. Try bombing one more time. Mm. Hopefully I'll push them in there. And I did. also helps encircle these other guys. Like this. Certainly is dangerous, but if I'm lucky, these guys are static somewhat. <laughs> That's basically the uh, the goal my hope at any rate if uh recon here and now I can start moving the infantry there too in case these guys tried to move from the rear I do want to block this all right there we go now we know they have a fighter there but there is not a lot we can do against that particular fighter for now. Since it didn't really come out. But I will move some of my units in that direction. So they'll have an easier time at bombing. And these should all get for suppression at least okay this guy's first all right they're gonna get it after the turn but these guys will already be nearly destroyed by that time it'll be interesting to see what they do with that
Okay. That's good. Okay, they are going to attack there. That means that these guys will bite the dust because this is a colonial force. They're attacking my recon. I was not able to do a whole lot of damage, but uh, at least it's something. Wow. You know what I find interesting is that these guys have only two suppression, although I think they're supposed to get four. Aren't they? They're supposed to get four from my encirclement. That's weird. Thought I have the ability to have them suffer double penalties, but it doesn't seem to work. Because two is the normal one and four is the additional one. I mean, anti-air veteran definitely works. But I find... I don't know, actually, where the Deadly Grasp works here. It just... Maybe it's because a part of the encirclement is from these guys? I, I don't know, actually. It's... Weird. Hmm... Certainly is weird. What's not weird is me bombing this BT. Wow, it's a good hit. And these hills are once again high mountains, so if I can get to the rear of Antikera. I'm again able to encircle these forces. And that does seem to be the good way to go. I, I would assume these guys are going to attack the militia again. Because it would just be a big problem if they wouldn't. Okay, so... They can deal with this. They don't actually need to be encircled anymore, I think. You cannot reach there. I don't like these 1-1 one, one attacks against this thing. This guy... He's also over strength and has a hero. So Let's actually put them on the defensive. BT5s are tough enough to kill anyway. There might be a, a chance that I, I, I'll snag some in an encirclement, maybe. But for now it doesn't look like it. What are their odds, anyway? 
10%. It's quite high. Eighteen strength, huh? That's quite a lot. Does it have a hero? This one doesn't. So you definitely need to wear this out. Like, uh, you would not be able to take it in frontal assault. I would dare say. I could go in here and attack that, but I don't like that that decision. Ah, uh, come on. Hmm. Right, let, let's just move in here for now. Like I said, these guys do seem to be static. Game is really uh, mocking me. Oh, this is an overrun. And then they can move over here. Let's get all the fighters involved. From all different angles. It's a comparatively good attack actually. So it allows me to take a look at uh, the rest. So they have quite a lot here, so there's no way I'm going to be able to encircle these guys. Already on the next turn. Uh, it's going to be impossible. I think these guys will get the smack before they get to move out here. They're also in circle. Yeah, that's not going to be a threat. I don't think this airfield gives supplies, but. Uh, we do actually get points for them taking this, so that's nice. Which makes sense as well. Okay, sweet. Sincerely hope they will attack there. We'll see. They don't. Interesting movements. So they have a counterattack there. I think my recon units 
It's not too bad. The recon units are relatively cheap. Uh, where did that happen? There, okay. Just only don't like this here. I have to take matters into my own hands. I can retake that uh, territory, maybe. Depending on how things go with these guys, but... Uh... At the very least, I've been able to put my anti-aircraft gun to e excellent use. So, I certainly can't complain about that. Do have the main objective. Taking this, that's super easy as well. <laughs> it's just unbelievable how easy this main objective is. Get that they want to make you feel good for getting the secondary objectives, but they shouldn't make it too easy. That's what I think. They do have the anti aircraft. But these mixed brigades can be. Pretty chunky. No need to repair just yet. However, these guys will sh surely go and assault that pretty quickly. I'm not gonna have them defend yet because I want them to clear the these first while I try to get at them from the rear. Which I still think is a viable option. Despite the presence of certain units like this thing here. They have overrun. So that clears them out, which means that I can now start moving into their rear. Which is good. These are tough. As I said, these mixed brigades are actually no slouch. The fact that they don't have artillery backup does make me a bit worried against this mixed brigade over here. I think they would take a substantial beating from them and then if this recon... also moves in. I might be in trouble. I don't want trouble. So I'll stay in this position right now, but that has me potentially move 
further down soon. I'll leave these guys here too for the moment. If they want to attack into my anti-tank, that's fine. Five movements. It will never be able to get up there. I think these guys will already assault this militia. But just in case, let's put you up front, because I don't trust it. That's a paltry performance. Good. They retook that. Sweet. Oh. oh wow. Didn't see that coming. That's a good move for the AI. Well, wow. another plane. That's a load of bollocks. Uh, all right. Well, now I, I do need to repair this, unfortunately. It will be absolutely no use otherwise, so I have to repair. Found these guys to be somewhat immobile for this turn. Yeah. Well. Is in anti-tank mode now. I don't get why I'm still not allowed to bomb it. Alright, let, let's just move you here. 4-3. Jeez. Some of this stuff, it don't rightly make no sense. You really don't.
Yeah, we already shoot 100%, but it's only 40%. Oh, okay, I see. I have a 40% chance. Damn. Let's try with even more recons. Right, I'll just take a bit of damage here. That's fine. If I want to go in and circle these guys, that's practically what I need to go and do. Huh? I attack these. What? Ah, come on. Finish them off. Excellent. And that's good news. This thing is still super dangerous. Hope to be able to knock off a strength point, but... Wasn't too lucky at that. I'll be able to encircle them on the next turn. But just not now. Hmm. At least it wasn't a one one. It's an invisible plot wall. <laughs> That's kind of how it looks like to me. Um. Well, if they have more fighters, I'm screwed anyway. Sixty-two. Oh, wow. Sure. Let's just hope they don't attack. They probably will. All right, let's see. No, that's no surprise. Good. Could have tagged this. Okay. And uh, they did attack. Yeah. And again, they have this insane roll there. Holy cow.
Alright, that's where I'm gonna call it quits for now. Thanks for watching, take care, see you next time, bye-bye.